got me a new camera. <laughs> My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. I wanted to be a landscape photographer. But with a family to feed and bills to pay, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. It was time to follow my passion. Come along on my journey to become the best black and white photographer I can be. Whether it be film or digital, I will be sharing what I learned through my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is right in the edge. Well, it's new to me. I picked up a mint condition Pentax 645N. Just came today. So we're out trying to run a few rolls of film through it. Best way to get to know a camera is to take it out and use it. I wasn't going to make a video today. I was just going to go out and test the camera. But I thought, what the heck? Might as well just bring you along talk about some of the uh, features this camera has over my last model. So I'm going to spend the next couple days putting this camera through its paces. Should be kind of fun. Probably won't shoot a lot tonight. Got to head over to the coast in the morning. Well there's some interesting skies but I'm really struggling to find something to stick in the foreground of these skies. Something below the clouds. Really, just don't want a picture of clouds. I'll, I'll take a couple shots. We'll get us get us started anyway. I'll probably pick up where I'm leaving off tonight in the morning. Maybe we'll run over to the coast. See if we can find something to photograph over there. It's a quiet morning on the Oregon coast. Take this camera for uh, for a few more shots today. Got up about four this morning. Some actually some nice color behind me. That doesn't really mean a whole lot to me right now. <laughs> Since I'm shooting black and white. I just made a shot. It's just some reflections, tide pool, nothing, nothing fancy. All the shots that I'm doing on this roll, this next roll or two, will be with the camera's multi-segment metering. I might do a little bit with spot metering, but I really want, I really need to test out how this meter is reading the scene. So when things are happening fast, I need to know if I can trust it. I need to know if I need to compensate one way or the other. So I'm bracketing a little bit more than I normally do. So that's probably why I'll shoot more than one roll of film. If I can find enough subject matter. I need to keep looking for some more stuff. Kind of waiting for the uh, the light to even out. It's kind of bright in the background, dark in the foreground. I took a frame, but I'm not sure that's going to work. I was trying to emphasize the reflections in the wet on the water and the sand here, but it might be too much uh, dynamic range needed for this for this scene. The tide's coming in, so I don't know how much time I'm going to have out here in your, out, <laughs> out here in some of these areas. 
gonna have to probably work a little quicker than I, I would like to. a little bit about so far what I'm liking about this camera I'm loving the controls I love to have the uh, shutter speed dial exposure compensation dial and an aperture ring it just really feels like a camera my older one was just push button stuff it took a little bit getting used to this is so much more natural for me to use the thing I really like about this is it uses the same film backs. So I can take the film back off of my old 645 and use it on my 645N. That's a really smart. I think that's really smart for uh, Pentax to do that. Another cool thing is all the lenses work on all their cameras. From the 645 to the 645N to the 645N2 and to their digital cameras. I think their latest was the 645Z. All these uh, lenses work to varying degrees. Um, they have newer lenses designed for their digital cameras, but you can mount any of, the, any of their lenses on their digital cameras as well. Now that I've got a new camera, does, what does that mean? <laughs> I think that means I'm really getting more serious about shooting film. Uh, there's something about it that has really kind of got me. Maybe because I've used digital so long, it, it's so nice to have a different process, a different challenge. I really enjoy learning something new. And so using this uh, different camera, different process, it's become quite refreshing. It's, it's kind of sparked some, some uh, <laughs> creativity in me with photography again. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm actually having fun with it again. There are a number of reasons why I decided to go with the newer body instead of the, the older one. Because you can you get those older ones out there for quite a bit cheaper. For me, I've had two battery holders just fall apart, just uh, get cracks and deteriorate. And I don't know if it's just because the, the plastic's so old, the, the cameras came out in like 1984. And I'm hoping, and it looks like the, the newer bodies have a little more robust battery holder. So I couldn't see just going out and getting another camera if, if the battery holders are going to be falling apart and failing. And I also wanted the dials, and I wanted a brighter viewfinder. The old one has a pretty dark viewfinder. And so I'm finding it a lot easier to focus this newer camera. I also like the modern metering spot meter, center weighted. My, my old one had just center weighted. And I also like that this has a, uh, I think it's six segment evaluated metering, multi-segment. And really the, I've been testing that out on this roll just to see where, where the exposures are. I mean, I may be able to rely on it quite a bit. For handheld shots, this camera also works really well. Just feels like a, a chunky 35 millimeter. This first roll has been a lot of fun to shoot. And hopefully I got something <laughs> worth showing in this video. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm forcing the shots because I want to get this roll shot up and, and see, what it, see how this camera works. I think I'm only going to expose one roll though. I, I'm, I'm kind of excited and I want to just shoot a bunch of film but it would be prudent for me to shoot this roll. I think I've got one frame left. And just develop it, see what the camera's doing. Now, if anybody is out there that's considering going with one of the Pentax 645 models, I've heard a lot of people suggest getting the, uh, starting out with the, the oldest one. And 
economically, it's probably a good way to go if you can find one that's got a decent battery holder. But it might be worth just spending a few hundred dollars more and getting something a little newer. Like these are like 10 years newer. 10 years is quite a bit difference in, in cameras. But if it's the only way you can get into it and you really want to try it, then by all means, go for the older version. That's, I, I wrestled back and forth. Was it worth for me to spend $200 on a older one that I could have also have problems with the, the battery department? Or would it be, is it, was it worth adding another $300, $400 for something that I really wanted? <laughs> I have wanted this camera since it was announced back in, I think, 1997. This was my dream camera. I was so excited when I got this yesterday when it came in the mail. I was like a little kid. I, I was, I've never been that excited about any of my digital cameras. To me, they're like hammers. They're just tools. But this, this kind of takes me back, back when I really was passionate about photography and was excited about taking pictures. And maybe that's why I needed this camera just to feel that excitement again. <laughs> it feels like Christmas. It's like a little kid with this camera. My goal is to get to know this camera well enough, get to know it as well as my digital cameras to where I can go out and not have to think about it too much and just focus on finding some really cool pictures, finding some really cool art. Right now I still feel like I'm kind of experimenting, experimenting with filters, experimenting with film, experimenting with cameras. I kind of want to get beyond the experimenting stage and get back to creating. And I think I'm getting close to that point. I don't think my photography has been all that fantastic <laughs> this, this last few months, but I'm learning. And, and I think that that's okay. It's, I'm, it's, it's, I'm just enjoying myself. And I think that's the big part of photography. You gotta enjoy it. Well, I think I'm gonna take this home, process the images, and hopefully you'll see them in this video. So until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride. <laughs>